Hello, welcome to Talking in the Library. My name is LB, and we are back with another episode of Don't Knock Twice for the Halloween Bonanza. I'm going to answer this message because it's really pissing me off that they've interrupted me. I'm really fucking scared. It's come to me. This is all my fault. And so the first thing you thought to do was grab your phone and send a text. Um, that door's still locked. You can get lit up. All the paintings have been changing recently, but that's that's fine, I guess. Because oh, lovely. You got a cutthroat. You got no face. You've also got a cutthroat. What is it with this woman and cutting throats? Well, okay. I don't like the fact that if I can't open doors, I just start looking all over the place. You know what I mean? Let's head outside. So we saw her get oh. Aha! I haven't been here before. Hello, what are you? Read. Summoning ritual. Spirit gemstone amethyst. Water gemstone. Sapphire. Fire gemstone. Ruby. Earth em uh, gemstone. Emerald. Air gemstone. Diamond. Yeah, that really makes sense. Spirit, water, air, fire, earth, air. Yeah, that, that all those colours make sense. Um, we've got the water gemstone, I guess. Um, but we need more front Chloe age 9 and her favourite doll Ruby back fire to cook her cold dead heart I see so we need something from the fireplace anything in the fireplace oh wow hello I'm sorry, please help, I didn't mean what I said. Well, yeah, now you've got to change an attitude, haven't you, you fucking dickhead. Just making me do all the work for her as well. May 9th, 2016. Ben Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas. To whom it may concern. I have known Jess for over five years now, and we have been lovingly married for the last three. It is with great honour and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate, and, my, and a passionate, loving, and caring woman. She is a shoulder to cry on my voice of reason, and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my children. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago, and I truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy, and loved. She has turned her life around and become a success, and I truly believe she deserves a second chance to be with her daughter. Sincerely, Ben Thomas. Oh, what a great husband. What, who did I hear sniffing behind me? I heard someone go, fire. That's not what I needed, but I will take. Oh my god! Don't yeah, don't yeah, don't. You're right. Don't have a field day. Good god. Poppins over there. I'm not sure if you saw that, but I certainly did. Uh, read, kitchen. Entrance hall. Okay, so I guess we need to go into the kitchen to get the oven for cooking the second, and then we can get the second symbol. So the basement is there. Where are we now? We're in the games room. So the basement is the locked door. Um, the entrance hall we went to, that was the one which had the steps curving upwards that so we went up, and then the kitchen's connected to that, so if we go can I like store things, or not I guess right we're about to go into the door where she was taken from, and as Right. So. God damn it, the phone's jumping, it's scaring me more than the actual game is. What's happening to me? In the kitchen, the doll, it burns. Oh no. Oh, boo hoo. Shut up. I don't care if it burns. Anything for me here. Anything that isn't a jump scare. A locked door. Brilliant. That wasn't a jump scare, at least. You are looking 
glorious. You look like... Have you... Hmm. A little, little pose for the camera. Nice, I like it. I can dig it. We've already been in here. Not the right fire, so... I'm assuming that's the Baba Yaga. Look at those saggy titties. But yeah, I have actually seen the film of this. It was ages ago. I don't remember much about it. I remember it being pretty good for what it was, which was a um, fairly low-budget kind of thrill-fest horror film. It was... It was fun. It was fun to watch. I enjoyed it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let me want to go through here. To get to the kitchen, which we can't do yet because apparently we don't have the key. So I guess we just go up here. No. Nope. Anything over here? No. Nope. We're really getting handed handed virtually nothing in this game, huh? It said, "Please come to the kitchen." Right? I don't know what else you could possibly want from me here. I, I'm at the kitchen. This is where it said the kitchen was. Huh. Okay. Well, turns out the kitchen was a lot easier to get to than I'd initially thought. Mm. Is there combat in this game? I hope not. There was a young woman, bullied and teased by all the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a mother and have a child to love and care for. As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her, knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she made a deal with a demon. That demon being the Baba Yaga. A deal was made to grant the woman a wish. A child. In doing so, she had to serve the Baba Yaga by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sought revenge on them by putting a curse on her front door. By doing so, condemning the child who knocked her door to be chosen to be the chosen sacrifice for the Baba Yaga. I'm gonna throw a feeling tenterhook out and assume that the person who made this game is not a native English speaker, but that is absolutely fine because we are not judging their English. We are judging their game, and so far, it's enjoyable. That is about to get flung across the room at me, so I'm gonna do it first. Cool. Yeah. Man, let me. Do I need to turn it off first or what? What the fuck? I don't even know. I guess I'm meant to turn it off somehow. Okay, so there is combat in this game. Open locked doors by chopping the handles off. Sick. What was all the movement noises? Okay, fine, that's just a guess. Now that's off, which means I can open the oven, take whatever that is out. Right. Okay. So that's the, uh, presumably the fire bit done. And now we need to go out here.
<laughs> That's so goofy. Jesus, fuck me! Oh. Oh. I don't see why that was. I don't see why that was necessary. If I'm being completely honest. That's going to slam shut. Hundred percent, it's going to slam shut. Jess and baby Chloe, happy times. Back. The right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. What? No, not what I meant to do. Pick you up. Pick. No. Oh. Pick. No. Oh. Pick you up and pick you up. And then if I aim and focus, the right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. Okay, that's going to be on the piano, presumably. Smack that off. Get that going. That note. That note. See, that's the kind of puzzle solving that I am known for. That w mm okay. Uh, can I flush that? Because that is icky. Okay, no, and. Right, brilliant. Let's go up here then. This looks safe and warm and cosy and lovely and nice. Oh, can't see myself having any more jump scares up here. Burn. Cobwebs. Nah, this ain't quite Metro 2047. Those cobweb cobwebs moved. Then if I go, oh, she's literally standing on me. Oh, no jump scares, please. Oh. Okay, fine. I'm sure I can live with that. Okay, what are you? Um, read it. Folklore of the Baba Yaga tells of the servant's curse. The bearer of the necklace shall do thy demon's bidding. The evil hag's powers are limited on earth and she needs the help of a human slave or cursed soul to carry out her commands. It is said that the only way the servant can be free of the demon is if they kill themselves, or if they trick someone else into replacing them by doing something truly evil. Oh, isn't it a good thing you gave me multiple other axes? It's like you thought I'd have lost the first one by now. Uh, where am I going here? Jump scare, probably. Right, okay, I need to find a four digit code. Jump scare. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Oh, I see why they made the doors open really slowly now. It's certainly taking its toll on my mental well-being. That's the methadone place. Oh, I see this going nothing but my way. Okay. Yep. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. 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 Mm, somebody's going to climb out the fucking... 
I'm just going to preemptively knock that off so I can open it again. Do I have to like, what, what am I doing here? Right, you can go in the bath as well. Ah, hello. What does that say? Steam reveals the secret to air. Um, I guess do the hot tap then. Is that? Is that it? Um, not quite sure what I'm meant to do now. Steam. Ah, I see you. Um, what? Give me the. Give me the fucking. What, I just fucking threw you? Aren't you, like, meant to be throwable things? Little Russian dolls. Well, now that's lost forever. Um, I guess if I move this... Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. You would have thought that I could, like, do something. But, alas, I can do no things. Zero things can be done by me. I thought it was a two-way mirror for a second, like in a police interrogation room. That's not looking very friendly. I guess downstairs... Nah, there's definitely got to be something in here. Can I pick you up? Which of these bones do I need? Do I need one of these bones? It said I needed steam. Steam reveals the secret to air. What if I steam up the bathroom that way? That's actually really clever. 4862. Okay, I got you. Where's my axe? That's so clever. Get steam. Turn on the hot tap. 4862. I see this trip going nothing but amazingly. <laughs> Not a fan. Can you shut up? Okay, I'm just going to ignore everything. Four. Eight. Six. God, this is difficult to see. It doesn't make it easier when I do that. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that really got me. Okay. 
Okay. Right. Um. Oh, stop. Hurry, I can hear it. There's something in the basement. Right. I guess we gotta go there then. Oh, I feel disquieted. Where is the basement again? Wasn't it like... It was out here, wasn't it? I'm hearing piano being played. You're mine. <laughs> I beg to differ, madam. Monster? Fuck that.